Hi everyone, I hope you are doing well. So in this video, we are going to discuss lead code problem of the day and today's problem is minimum window substring and it is a hard little problem. So this problem is not, actually not that hard, it is just a very old problem, you can see by the problem number 76, that is why it might be labeled as hard. It is a basic uh, two pointer problem. Let us discuss how we can solve this particular problem and this particular approach that we are going to discuss here will be very very useful to you in many problems as well. So the problem basically says that we have been given two strings of different lengths. Now we have to find out the minimum window substring of S such that every character in T including the duplicates are included in that particular window. If there is no such substring we have to return an empty string which is this double quotes. right? Now the test cases will be generated in such a way such that the answer is unique. So we don't actually have to worry about this particular thing because our code will always take care of such things. right? So now what we do is, uh, let me just give you this particular example. We see that the T string has A, B, C right? and all of them are capital. So basically in the string S, we want to find a substring such that it has one capital A, by one capital A I mean at least one capital A, at least one capital B and at least one capital C. So the smallest such substring is B, A, N, C which has all three of them and this is the answer. Right. You can clearly see that there will be no other substring which have all the uh, three characters and it is smaller than this particular substring. Now here we need a small a, so a small a is this particular substring only, so we take it. Here we need two small a's but we only have a single small a, that is the best possibility that we can have. So in this case the answer is uh, an empty substring and if we had a capital A, so let us say S is equals to A and that second string T is equals to capital A, in this particular case also the answer will be an empty substring because these two are considered to be different in this particular problem. right? So how can we actually solve this particular problem? It is not very difficult, let me just uh, try to explain you. So what we do is, we are first going to initialize two pointers, so left pointer and right pointer. Left pointer basically denotes what is the point at which my current substring is starting. right? So let me just write it, right. L denotes, L denotes the index at which my current substring is starting, right. R denotes, denotes the index or next index to be included in my substring, right. These are the two important positions that I need. When I have these two values of L and R, let us say R is here and L is here, this basically means I have, I am currently considering a substring like this, R is not included but I am considering a substring in this particular ring. I can just try to figure out whether this particular substring is satisfying my constraints or not, right. So in this particular case there can be at max 25, 26 plus 26 characters, so those are 52 characters. For each for each substring, I can figure out in 52 steps for all those 52 characters at max whether my condition, whether my current substring is satisfying the condition or not. So the way we generally approach these two pointer problems is like this. We have a R pointer and an L pointer. We try to keep on increasing the R pointer. First of all, L and R will be together, then L and R like this, then L and L and R like this, then L and R like this. Right. We try to keep on increasing our right pointer until we get a substring that satisfies our constraints. Right. Once we get the satisfied condition, what we try to do is we try to minimize our answer by removing this L pointer to the left. So we are trying to make our substring smaller so that we can still satisfy the constraints. So we move this L pointer towards the left. So L and R are like this, then L will move to the left, R will remain as it is, L will move to the left and R will remain as it is. At one point we will get a condition when the substring does not satisfy the same original constraints. When we reach this particular condition, again we start moving R towards the right. So this is how we generally solve the two pointer problem. The only uh, thing in this in this kind of problem is figuring out how to check the answer for each substring. In this particular case since there are only 52 unique characters, we can easily figure out by doing a brute force whether the current substring satisfies the constraints or not. Right. So with these two concepts in mind, we are going to solve this particular problem. So uh, I do not think there is much explaining this particular problem, I could just show you the code and you will be able to understand it. So let me just take this part. So we are going to discuss this particular code that I have written. Just 
let me just move it so what we generally do is first of all i created a map okay just a second first of all i created a map here right fs and ft so f is the frequency of all the characters in the string s and ft is the frequency of all the characters in the string t now in ft i'm just going to store all the characters so i'm traversing through the string t and incrementing the frequency of each of these characters now both l and r will be initialized to 0 right while r is less than s dot size that means the next character that i want to include actually exists i'm going to increment the frequency of s of r right and then doing post increment or r basically means that i am going to use this current r and then increment it this is what post increment means so basically what i am doing is i am incrementing the frequency of the current position r in the string s inside the map fs right so whatever is at the position r in string s will get its frequency incremented by 1 now i have this while loop while to and i have initialized my ok with 1 so i am traversing through the second map and if the frequency of any of these characters in the second map is less than the frequency of this particular value so basically what i am trying to say is i have two maps fs and ft ft is going to store the frequency of all the characters in the string t and fs is going to store the frequency of all the characters inside my current substring right so now i am traversing through all the different characters inside the map ft right so i can i take the current character and i look for it in the first map fs so if the frequency of this particular character inside the first map is less than the frequency of that same same character in the second map that means there is at least one character that has a frequency less and does not satisfy or does not meet the constraints so i'm going to set my okay as false and just break from here right so this is what i'm trying to do here now i come to the next position if not okay that means at least one of the characters did not meet the criteria i'm just going to break from here otherwise if r minus l that is the number of characters in the current substring why r minus l because r is never included because it is the next character that i want to include in the substring so r is not currently included and l is the starting of the substring if it is less than best then i am going to update my best as r minus l and i am going to update my starting position as l right now since i want to decrement or decrease the size of the substring that i have i am going to increment the value of r before incrementing the value of r whatever increment the value of l actually so before incrementing the value of l and moving l to the right i want to make sure that whatever character was present at f of f of l should be removed from my map fs right so that is exactly what i do here eh? minus minus fs s of l plus plus right this is what i am trying to do here right so whatever it is at s of l will get its frequency decremented by 1 here now after all of this has been completed at the end if my best is equals to 1 e 9 that is a very big value which i have initialized the best with so i have initialized best with my infinity or 1 e 9 in this particular case hand start with 0 if the best does not change i am just going to return an empty sub substring this basically means that i was not able to find my answer otherwise i am going to return a substring from s which is starting at this particular position and has a length best right so this is how you can solve this particular problem with the help of two pointers this two pointers approach is very very useful in many problems and the only thing that you change is this particular part right or the checker function that you have to check whether your constraints are satisfied or not right rest everything more or less remains the same you keep the same uh, conditions between r and l right and so on so let me just quickly submit this and show you that this particular code works and the solution is correct so you see this passes all the test cases and the solution is absolutely correct i hope that you guys were able to understand the solution if you guys did then consider dropping a like on this video and don't forget to share thoughts in the comments because your engagement with this particular video really really helps the youtube algorithm to understand that this video is actually helpful for you and it will be to reach much more people like you who want to keep solving new problems so that is it for today till the next video drops keep coding stay safe bye bye